Tens of millions of dollars lost, hundreds of victims. It's all part of a financial carnage left behind by a financial advisor turned con man. And there are some important lessons to learn from this case of betrayal. That's in today's Consumer Alert. They have, no, they have no regard for how they get other people's money, and they don't have any regard for what happens to the people once they steal their money. Postal Inspector Kevin Redden is referring to longtime financial advisor Wes Rhodes. He told people that he would be able to get uh, better than average returns, sometimes as high as 25 percent on their money, but most often it was much, much closer to 7 to 9 percent. Rhodes' reputation was so solid that he hosted his own radio show focused on investing strategies. He even claimed to have developed his own analytical program. That allowed him to predict the movements of stock and bonds, take advantage of the movement before it actually occurred, so he claimed he could always be ahead of the curve on these investments. One problem, it was all a scam. Authorities say he was running a Ponzi scheme for more than 20 years. 125 victims lost more than 40 million dollars. How did he do it? He was a chameleon. He would, he would tell very quickly if you had an interest and he would adopt that interest. Postal inspectors say they were surprised by how the scam worked. His initial uh, investors invested with him in 1985. And they didn't learn that their money was gone until 2006 when the fraud was disclosed by the SEC. The takeaway from this case, always be prepared to question your advisor. You need to be able to monitor any investment independently of your advisor. If the, uh, you need to be able to, to see on paper. West Rhodes was convicted of mail fraud and money laundering. He's serving a 10-year federal prison sentence and was ordered to pay more than $20 million in restitution to victims.